Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here, and Samsung just flew me out to Northern California to get an early look at the brand new Galaxy Book 4 Edge. Now this Windows laptop is special because it's powered by the Snapdragon X Elite, which will compete with Apple's M chips, or at least looks to, we will do some testing of course. Now that means you are going to get a powerful laptop, slim and light, and good battery life. On top of all of that, you do get some AI capabilities. Anyway, Samsung does have a lot of good pre-order deals up. I will link to the best ones in the description where you can trade in products, get money off, and even get a free TV as well if you pre-order. So let's dive into it. Quick unboxing of the Galaxy Book 4 Edge and, of course, get some hands-on with this laptop. Samsung provided the Galaxy Book 4 Edge in the 16-inch variant. However, there's a 14-inch variant if interested. There we are, Snapdragon X Elite. Inside the box, we have our charging brick, which uses Samsung super fast charging via USB Type-C. And this is 60 watts of charging. Setting the laptop to the side, continuing through, we have our booklets and a USB-C to C cable. And I know what you came to see, the Galaxy Book 4 Edge, really sleek looking laptop. You all know the drill, one-handed opening test passed with flying colors. And I'm getting ahead of myself, but I really do love the accent of that keyboard, it looks great. Quick look at the hardware on the left side, you have an HDMI 2.1 slot, two USB Type-C ports, a status light, and speakers. And then moving along, you'll notice the two microphones right there on the lid and a little notch so it's easier to open up the laptop. Again, more speakers, a micro SD card slot for more expandable storage, USB Type-A port, and our headphone jack. And then just a quick look along the back. I can't get over how thin this laptop actually is. Be sure to peel these off so you get a little more grip on the four corners and a look at the bottom with our ventilation and again, grips on all the corners. Finally up the top, a minimal Samsung logo, just a really good looking laptop. If you're wondering, this is how far the lid will go back. And then also look at how big this trackpad is. Great to have that much real estate and a closer look at that keyboard. Moving along, you'll notice there's a co-pilot co key uh, right there. And then also on the bottom right, we've got our Snapdragon X Elite sticker letting you know it's a dynamic AMOLED display. And then the upper right is where your power button is, which is, has a fingerprint scanner built in. Let's take a look at that 16-inch AMOLED display, quickly testing how quickly it wakes up from sleep and unlocks fingerprint scanners really quick. And there it is. It's a gorgeous screen, as expected from Samsung. In terms of specs, you get a 3K, 2880 by 1800 resolution. This is an AMOLED screen, up to 120 hertz refresh rate. It looks really smooth. And I do have to point out, Apple's laptop lineup doesn't include an OLED display because, of course, we're going to be comparing the M chips with the Snapdragon X Elite. So, again, the hardware you're going to get in accompaniment with this performance battery life is going to be better. In display settings is where you can change your color profile and even turn on adaptive color. And in advanced, you'll notice the resolution and 48 to 120 hertz, a dynamic refresh rate. And of course, this is also a touchscreen display, something Apple doesn't provide. I do love having that really large trackpad. It feels great. Plus, you can take advantage of the Windows gestures that you have. I do love having a dedicated number pad on a laptop this big. The keyboard just looks great. And now let's do just a quick typing test. Okay, on to what you may or may not be here to see some of those Copilot Plus features that are included on the Galaxy Book 4 Edge. The first one we're gonna take a look at is called Recall, and it will basically take periodic screenshots of your workflow. I had a video edit that I had to do, and that's kind of what I'm scrolling through. There's a timeline, it'll tell you exactly what time those screenshots were taken. You can go back and forth. You can actually be really precise, it's pretty impressive. Now let's say you find an image that you like, you can quickly share it, you can open it in a specific application, you can copy it to the clipboard. You can also quickly jump to where that specific image was from or the file that you found. As a quick test, I searched for Prague because I was looking at images of Prague, and it will pull them up. It will sort them by the different applications that the results come from, and you can filter through them as well. So my edit was through CapCut, and I have a lot through Prague, and it found even just specific words on phones that were part of the edit. It was actually super impressive. For recall settings, you have a group of them. First of all, the amount of storage. You can customize all the way up to 150 gigs 
of storage, and then it will finally start to delete some screenshots. You can also filter what snapshots get taken, including apps. You can just omit specific applications and websites as well. If you maybe have a work website or you don't want any email snapshots. You of course have Copilot and you can ask it a group of different questions, generate images, a lot of different AI features. And just for reference, I went through after the video to recall and it actually separates it depending on the session you have with the computer. So that's really handy and convenient. The next new feature is called Co-Creator and it's within the Paint app. Yes, the Microsoft Paint app. And what it does is it takes whatever text you input plus whatever image you're drawing, whatever you have on the whiteboard of the paint, and it will actually output an image using AI. There's a bunch of different styles. You'll see I did a smiley face in a group of just different types of style. You can change the creativity that it has. And I noticed if I input a text such as Ferris wheel, it will update the image as I'm drawing. So really cool if I add certain features, it will try and implement them into the image that's generated. Live captions is an incredible one. It will take audio and even live translate if a specific language is being used. Here's a quick test. Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. Bonjour, como se va? Hola, como estas? Did you see how quick that actually translated both of those languages? Actually insane. Now finally, I'd like to go to the task manager because you can actually keep an eye on the NPU, the dedicated NPU of this chip. And we're gonna use an AI feature within the camera application. The next feature is Windows Studio effects. I'm going to apply some of them. Portrait light didn't do anything because the lighting in that room was so good. Obviously background effects, you can add background blur. Keep an eye on that MPU usage. You'll see it's starting to go up because I'm starting to add some of these AI features. And this is a new one, creative filters. Interesting, it gives you sort of an artistic look depending on the filter that you use. I can't quite decide what I think about it, but again, it's nice that it's offloading all of this to the MPU so the CPU can stay freed up while you're using these features. And of course, it's a Samsung laptop, so you get a full suite of the Galaxy Book experience, all of Samsung's apps, which, you know, will sync up with all of your other Samsung devices. And don't forget, you have Phone Link on your Windows laptop, so you can check out your apps, you can manage photos, calls, text messages, and even remotely control your phone. So anyways, that is it from me on the Galaxy Book 4 Edge from Samsung. I'm honestly really impressed so far. Already editing videos, using it, and you know, so far so good. I'm really excited to test this out more. More content to come on this laptop, so be sure to click that subscribe button so you're notified when it all goes live. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about these new laptops with the Snapdragon X Elite chip inside. And as always, Thanks for watching.